Okay, this is the first time and hopefully the only time I feel like I'm gonna have to give a movie two separate ratings. War for Planet of Ape. Let's do it. So the prequel trilogy for Planet of the Apes is complete. We've seen Caesar go from a child experiment to a father to the undisputed ruler and respected leader of the apes. Well, he was well respected before, but now he's kind of reaching that place of almost, almost mythological state where humans are hearing stories about him, but they're not even sure if he's alive anymore. And time has passed. I mean, from the first movie to the second, I think it was eight years. And I think from the second to the, I read somewhere it was like in totality, it was like 12 years have passed. So it's, it's been a while. If I don't have that timeline perfect, Hmm, sorry. So between the second movie and this movie, another few years have passed. This movie does have a bit to do with the simian flu. It's back and it's wreaking havoc on humans and humanity. And people are just not having a good go of it. Caesar and his tribe have become very efficient, well, even more efficient, at defending themselves. And at this point, they really just want a way to live in peace. If you remember from the second movie, Caesar basically says, look, we didn't start this war, but we'll fight if we have to. I did not start this war. will finish it. But Caesar has been in this since the beginning, and at this point you can kind of tell he's just tired. He's tired of this bullshit, and he really just wants to live in peace. Woody Harrelson plays the leader of this militaristic group he's just known as the Colonel, and he's basically hell-bent on regaining control and not letting the apes rule the planet. But damn if I can't tell you too much more without giving the plot away. That being said, there's something you should know before going into this movie. It is a very good movie. It's a very deep movie. It's an examination of the light and dark places in humanity. The links that both will go to in a Attempting to preserve that of which is most important to them. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa. Alexa, shut up. But is this movie the movie that the trailer showed me? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is War of the Planet of the Apes. I went down expecting to see, you know, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, but more. About halfway through the movie, I started to get this feeling and started to realize, okay, this isn't this isn't gonna be what I thought it was gonna be. I was watching a really good movie about the struggle to survive and the fine line between revenge and vengeance, especially when it comes to Caesar. Which is great, that's all great. It's just not the movie I was expecting to see. At the beginning of the movie, this just heart-wrenching, heinous situation goes down that just sends Caesar off. And Caesar is hunting down the Colonel, played by Woody Harris to get his vengeance. Now amongst the humans and the apes, Caesar has always been known as, as the sensible one. The one who keeps trying to find a way to coexist with humans. We are not savages. Apes fight only to survive. But in this movie, more than Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, you really find yourself saying, screw the humans. Humans suck. Kill the humans. We created them. But now... We will bring an end to their kind. Caesar is 100% pushed to his limit and beyond in this movie. And as much as I wanted there to be this just epic war, i.e. War of the Planet of the Apes, where the apes just take the humans out, it, it just never really happens. Now before you get upset, I haven't spoiled anything, I haven't ruined anything, there's plenty that happens in the movie. There's some really sweet, I'm trying to do a review right now. There are some sweet battles, there are some gnarly explosions, that's great. They're in the trailer, so you know what's coming. And again, since I don't want to ruin anything, I am painting with large plot strokes here. A couple of performances and standouts that have to be pointed out. First, you know it's coming, Andy Serkis. The guy is just an amazing actor. And yeah, he's in motion capture, but it's still him. The performance is still him. The, the, the nuances, the idiosyncrasies, all that is still Andy Serkis. The guy says more with his eyes than any actor that I can think of off the top of my head. And, and all the other performance he gives is just, it's just the cherry on top. He's just freaking amazing. If for some reason I just went over your head and you don't know who Andy Serkis is, Really? Andy Serkis plays Caesar. He's also played King Kong. He also was Gollum. So if you saw any of those and you thought, that's amazing, that's Andy Serkis. Now, until like an hour before I went into this movie, I didn't know that Steve Zahn was in this movie. If you don't remember, he was that thing you do. He was in uh, that Sahara movie. He's been in a lot of movies. He's always kind of, he's always kind of, he's always the supporting act. But he pops up about halfway through this movie. He's an ape. He calls himself Bad Ape. Apparently, he came from a zoo and that's what they always yelled at him. So he thinks his name is Bad Ape. Bad human kill ape. All, all dead now. A long time. A long time. Bad humans. Soldier.
And next to Caesar, he may have been my favorite character in this movie. And he's just the sweetest, most non-confrontational ape that you're gonna meet. He's just so damn sweet. Funny monkey. But seeing Bad Ape, knowing it's Steve Zahn, it was a really sweet performance. Really top he goes these on now there's this whole major part of the plot that was really it wasn't it wasn't in the trailer it's this whole situation that's driving the colonel and his army's actions but i can't really go into that because it wasn't in the trailer and that plot point might ruin the movie for you there's also some inner conflict among some of the apes that wasn't in the trailer and i can't tell you or i'll ruin that plot for you so there's a lot i can't tell you because i'll spoil a lot of the plot points of the movie for you war of the planet of the apes has some very strong underlying or maybe on the surface themes exploring the limits of humanity sacrifice politics, what is it to be human, what is it to be a higher species, what constitutes a greater intelligence or more benevolent product of nature. Sound deep? That's because it is! So I hope you're getting the picture that this is a fairly complex movie. So this is why I feel like I need to give this movie two ratings. One for the movie I thought I was gonna see and one for the movie it actually was. So as always it comes back to that main question of was I entertained Yes, but this is how it breaks down. For the War of the Planet of the Apes that the trailer showed me that I thought was just going to be full of war and battles. This war. Yeah. Apes together strong. You are impressive and a fight for control of the planet, I'm, I'm gonna have to give this movie a Netflix it. If you're going to see this movie for this crazy man versus ape showdown, with maybe a hint of a layer of Michael Bay action attached to it, you're, you're not you're not gonna get it. However, for the War of the Planet of the Apes that it was, and taking into account the movie that it was, the story that it gave me, and just the overall plot and the emotional beats that just, that just hit you over and over. And so emotional! I really don't see how I can't give that War of the Planet of the Apes a golden ticket. It, it absolutely deserves it. But either way, get ready to hear the longest expositional piece of dialogue come out of Woody Harrelson that you have seen in any of his movies to date. As always, this is just my opinion, but what I really want to know is what you think. So if you saw War of the Planet of the Apes, do you agree with me? Do you not? Did you like it? Do you not? Throw it down in the comments. I really want to know what you think. So stay entertained until next time, and until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>